Although I cannot move, and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind, I am free. We use these machines in school to communicate. We all have our machine. They are a mini computer with pictures on them. We all program it with our own voice so we can hear who is talking. It is not a simple typewriter. We do not simply type in each letter like on the keyboard. The system is icon driven and each picture generates a morpheme. Every day in school we have a special class that teaches us how to use our talking machine. These are a range of communication aids that our students use in school. Some students have very big pictures on their communication aid. Yes, it's the car. And they just point car. to a single word or a single phrase. And they make sentences and this machine can talk for them. And I think they're absolutely brilliant. I live in Melby and Rotherham. Without AAC, a lot of children would go unheard and a lot of their requirements throughout the day would, would go unnoticed if it wasn't for the method of communication we have in this school. I want to show you how I can write. Look closely at my clicks, see how I write about my hobbies. What do you think about A? A? C? The iPads can be used for AAC now and some of the iPhones can. So you just spell the word in and it's got predictive text on it so that you can actually find the words you want. Some people cannot use their fingers to access the keyboard. Instead of their hands, they use their head to knock a switch like this. If you cannot use your head, you might use your feet or knee or eye to operate the machine. The talker scans like this so a user can tap when the icon they want is lit up. It takes ages to learn how to use all this technology. The next time you see Stephen Hawking on the television you might understand how he is able to communicate using AAC like us at Newman School.